Good morning, everyone. It is great to see you. Great to be able to share this thought for the day with you today. Now, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we find the Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth. And he's encouraging them in the ministry of Jesus. He's encouraging them in this ministry of reconciliation that is ours as Christians. Paul says that because we know the Lord, we try to persuade others. And because we know that it what it is to be reconciled with God, we then enjoy a relationship with him and the blessing that brings to our lives. And as a result, we should be passing on that reconciliation, the message, the hope, the promise of that reconciliation to others. And so as a result, Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5.20, he comes up with this wonderful word picture to describe what our role is as followers of Jesus today. He says, we therefore are Christ's ambassadors. And I love that image. I think it's such a helpful one, isn't it? The earthly concept of an ambassador is so good. It really helps us to understand our role of what it means to be a follower of Jesus today. And ambassadors, of course, represent a kingdom or a nation in a foreign land. They have authority to speak and to act on behalf of the king or the government that they represent. More than that, they are the embodiment of that nation. They're the physical presence of that nation in another nation. And that's like us as we're followers of Jesus. We live in the kingdom of God. We're citizens of heaven, but we live as foreigners in this world. We've been given authority and power to speak and to act on behalf of the king of kings in this world. And we represent him everywhere that we go. But of course, there is a more costly aspect to being an ambassador of the kingdom. This was brought home to me a number of years ago when I was at a New Wine Leaders Conference. And there, there was a Syrian pastor called Brother Edward who was being interviewed. And Brother Edward is an amazing Christian, an amazing Christian leader in Damascus. And they said to him, they, the question, the first question really was, explain the situation in Damascus. As you'll know, Syria has been in the midst of, of a terrible civil war. And, and they said, how dangerous is it? And he said at that time, it was seriously dangerous. He was pastoring people through the loss of loved ones, and many people they knew were being killed or blown up as a result of bombs. And he said this, he said, this is stuck with me. He said, you know things are bad when the surrounding nations pull out their ambassadors. One by one, they pull them out because it's not safe. That's bad, he continued. But what would be disastrous is if heaven pulled out its ambassadors. But heaven will never pull out its ambassadors. And he said his children had said to them, Mum and Dad, come to America with us. It's just not safe. And his reply to them was simply this. God has called us here. We are heaven's ambassadors. We are not just here to survive but to learn how to thrive and to see the kingdom of God established in Damascus. Friends, no matter how difficult things may be for us at the moment, no matter how difficult our call, no matter what we might be facing or how dangerous our context may be, and no matter what the cost of obedience is for us personally, God calls us to be his ambassadors and heaven never pulls out its ambassadors. So if you feel like you're ready to quit, if you find representing Jesus to others hard at the moment, if you've pulled back from being an ambassador of Jesus Christ, God's encouragement to us in this season is to take courage, to be encouraged, to be full of courage, and to be an ambassador today to each and every one of the people that we're in contact with. Because if I may steal Brother Edward's words, God has called us here. He's called you. Wherever he's placed you, in whatever your context, the context is, God has called you and we are heaven's ambassadors. And we're not just here to survive, but we're here to learn how to thrive and to see the kingdom of God established. So may God bless you today as you seek to do that wherever God has called you today. God bless and see you soon.